Right, a little bit more uh, language stuff here, really. So some ideas we need to talk about, uh, initial condition, boundary condition, and general solution. And probably the best way to deal with this is to look at a really, really simple differential equation. So here, all we're saying is that the slope is everywhere equal to 2, which is got to be a straight line if the slope's always equal to 2, but let's just um, convince ourselves of that. So to solve this thing, the simplest thing to do is just to integrate both sides, dx, Okay, so if integral, an integral and a derivative undo each other, so that's just y, and on this side we're going to have 2x plus c. And if we go and draw a diagram of that, a uh, slope of 2 means if we run along we go up 2, so it's going to be quite steep. Now it's a straight line, it doesn't look like it, but it's supposed to be a straight line. So it's just y equals 2x. Okay, so that would be the situation where c was equal to 0. Whereas if we did something where c was equal to 1, We'd end up with this line here, or if c was where that point's one, or if we did c equals negative one, we'd end up with a line more like this one. <coughs> okay, that's supposed to be a, a family of parallel lines. So <coughs> what we've got going on here is what's called a general solution. So this thing here is a general solution, which we refer to as uh, usually shortened to GS. Okay, so the general solution is just a family of parallel curves, in this case parallel lines. Any line which has a slope of 2 will be a solution to this differential equation. And if we want to get talk about just one of these, we talk about a particular solution. So a particular solution, which we simplify to PS, you'll often see abbreviated as, as PS. So say for example we had an initial condition, Okay, so to choose one of them, we have to have a point. So if we had an initial condition of uh, x equals 0, it implies that y equals 1. So when x equals 0, y equals 1, then the particular solution is the line on which that point falls. So it's this line here. So the particular solution is y equals 2x plus 1. Okay, an initial condition is where initial is used when the x value, or quite often the t value, is equal to 0 at the start. A boundary condition is used for any other points. So, for example, we could have a boundary condition of, uh, say, x equals 2 and y equals 3. So 2 and 3 up here somewhere, and we can find out which line that lies on by sticking these numbers back into our original equation. So if we put them into this equation, y equals... 2x plus c implies that c equals negative 1. So the particular solution we're looking at is y equals 2x minus 1. Okay, so, if two, so it's actually right on that line. Okay, so that's the point. x equals 2, y equals 3, and that point says that this is the line that we're interested in. Okay, so a general solution is a whole family of curves which follow the same shape, in this case a straight line, and then an initial condition as well on the on this axis, on the starting point of the uh, x-axis, which gives us, uh, defines a particular curve, and a boundary condition is any other point, which enables us to choose a different curve so we can get a particular solution to the problem that we're looking at.